Hello, friends and family. I have a story I'd like to share. My children were very small, so it was a long time ago. It was the night before Christmas. And all through our house, not a creature was stirring, not a cat or a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney of care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And I in my kerchief and Paul in his cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, I tore open the shutters and I threw up the sash. And there on the moon, showed the, the breast of the new fallen snow. It, it gave it a luster of midday to objects below. And what to my wondering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh with eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick. I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. He, he more rapid than eagles, his reindeer they came. And he whistled and he shouted and he called him by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. And to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away all. As leaves that before the wild hurricanes fly, when they meet with an obstacle, they mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the reindeer they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew on my head and was turning around, down the chimney came St. Nicholas. He came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his feet. Oh, well, his clothes were all tarnished with ashes, and soot, chimneys, you know. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. Oh, his eyes, how they twinkled, and his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, with his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly, and it shook when he laughed like, uh, like a bowl full of jelly. And I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word. But I went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk and laying his finger on the side of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his team and he gave a great whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain ere he drove out of sight, happy Christmas to all. And to all, a good night. Hello, friends and family. I have a story I'd like to share. Wait, cut, cut. Oh, come on, Mom, you killed me here. I need feeling. I need feeling. I need drama. I want these people to feel this. I have a story I'd like to share. <laughs> Hello, friends and family. I have a story I'd like to share. My children Cut. are very small. Okay. Mom, okay, look. I'm going to look right at the camera. You see that? That's not a camera. That's five-year-old Mark, and he's crying. You know why he's crying? I'm yelling. Because his mother made him eat lima beans. <laughs> so reach out to him across the years and make that little boy smile. Action! So 
Merry Christmas to all our friends and family. And to all, a good night.